My name is Barry Rawlins. I'm a soil scientist based at the British Geological Survey near Nottingham. I also represent an organisation called the British Society of Soil Science. Now, although soil covers most of the landscape, we don't often see it because it's obscured by vegetation, be that grass or woodland or agricultural crops. And therefore, we don't often think about some of the things that soils uh, do for us. You may not know, but 2015 is the, going to be the International Year of Soils. And you may very well ask the question, well, why do we need to have soils represented by an international year? For me, there are several reasons. For example, 80% of the food that we eat is grown in soil. Also, we uh, grow crops that, from which we can make clothes, so fibres generated from crops that are grown in soil. Soils uh, can also be used to grow energy crops. So, for example, in the field behind me, uh, there's a crop of elephant grass that can be burnt in a power station and to generate electricity. Soils can also uh, trap uh, rainfall and prevent flooding from occurring uh, in the landscape. And that has been very important in the UK in the last year, where we had uh, a lot of heavy rainfall in the south of England where we can manage soils well, we can prevent flooding. Soils also contain a, a very large amount of carbon and there's about twice as much carbon in the soils as there is equivalently in the atmosphere. So it's very important in respect of climate change. Despite all those things that soils do for us, if we don't manage them well, then uh, they don't perform all those functions. So for example, if we don't care for our soils carefully, then they can erode from the landscape. If uh, we take farm machinery onto soils when it is too wet, then the soils can become compacted and crops that are grown in them won't grow so well. And the other factor that we often consider or need to consider is the presence or uh, the occurrence of buildings. If we uh, aren't thoughtful in where we build, then we can seal soils and they won't therefore provide those, all those functions that I've talked about. So it's very important that we try and maintain soils in a healthy state. And that's partly why uh, 2015 is going to be recognised as the International Year of Soils. If you want more information, you can go to a couple of websites, soils.org.uk or the UK Soil Observatory at ukso.org.